All right, here's so I get another update here. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that's uh, shared my uh, videos with their friends. You know who you are. And um, we'll get right to it. Let's say, well, we got the long bar here. I machined up these plates here so this spins and the rod goes through here. I got these I think they're kick plates off of a diesel or something. I found them at the at the uh, scrapyard. So I made those fit and they got locks on. Um, I machined the pocket out of here and to where this just fits right perfect in there. I got this bar cut down so the motor, I'm going to go ahead and put the motor on this side just so it's out of the way and then the other motor will sit right here <coughs> and then basically that rod will extend all the way to the very back and then we got another setup here I found two of these exactly the same size and everything so I machined up another one of these and it's got another steel bearing inside of here and then the, the bolt will barely stick out kind of like it does on the Y so yeah one side will only be a little like that see there there's one that's machined and right in the recessed into that so we're getting a lot closer of course we we know that this is on here now and this is lock stock and barrel and I just gotta work on getting this basically is going to sit up in here on those two bars. Then I got to find the distance from the top of that up to match this hole that goes all the way down. And then I build another backlash arrestor that, like that was in that one, and it'll sit up on a stable platform right about there and uh, then the rod will run all the way through that and then I have to figure out motor mounts kind of like how these are mounted on this machine which I'll probably end up tearing these apart and making them fit um, on that other machine so anyhow uh, the rod was already in once, but I haven't got it moving yet, but it will be here real quick. Alright, thanks a lot. Talk to you later.